I'm John from Spec Corvette Racing, and we're here for the 2023 West Region season opener at Willow Springs Raceway. We have 16 cars registered this weekend. This is our fifth year for Spec Corvette and our biggest racer count we've had. So we're 16 cars for our opener, and we've got hundreds of cars across the U.S. getting built right now. Hi, my name is John, number 46, Spec Corvette. I'm Josh Carroll. I race out of Danville, California. I'm Darren Griffith, and uh, I want to give a special thanks to Performance Insurance Benefits for the car. We ran first today, which I'm very excited about. My name's AP Miranda. I own an aviation company, so I'm a pilot by trade. Love cars, love racing, so when I have free time, when I'm not working, this is what I want to be doing. My name is Mark LaCourt. I run the number 73 for Schechter Guitars. Good to be surrounded by a bunch of guys who all step forward, help each other out when needed, and uh, get you back on track. Everyone races clean. It's just a great group of guys. Last night we went, all went out to uh, dinner and it's fantastic. Kevin Jones will also be here this weekend and he's, this will be his, I believe his second full season with Spec Corvette. And Kevin loves Corvette racing, he's loved it for years. And he's the absolute uh, example of a grassroots racer and does it all himself kind of a guy. My name's Kevin Jones. I'm originally from Washington State, but I've been in California for over 20 years. I actually found the car on the internet in San Diego. I bought it sight unseen, other than a few Zoom calls, but uh, I, it was a deal and it worked out timing wise. The price was right, uh, it needed work and I knew it. The day I bought it, I had it up on jack stands and started tearing it apart to build the race car, so. He's rebuilt his own transmission, pulled his own engines out, rebuilt his own engine and put them all back in, comes out and races the next weekend with us and uh, really excited to have guys like that that are grassroots and really do it for the passion of racing to come out and have fun with us. I had a Z06 I built as a track car doing track days and uh, I was out at the track one day and there were a couple guys there with the spec Corvettes. I think the thing that really intrigued me of it initially was, was the guys. I mean everybody that's involved is so cool. I've, I've raced other stuff before and, and there's always a, like an element of attitude around most racing series and, and this series just seems totally different to me. Like everybody's totally cool, just wants to have a good time. It's competitive, but everybody's just super cool and work together and that sort of thing. So it's just kind of the spirit of the, of the whole class is let's just go fast and have fun and not, you know, we're not worried about who has the most money. You know, it's the cars are pretty even and it just comes down to how fast you want to drive it. And the other thing I found fascinating is how else can you get into a, a V8 high horsepower spec car as cheap as these things are? You know, I mean, it's, it's the same price as running a Miata, you know, with, you know, a lot more cars. So that, that interested me, especially coming from like Challenge, uh, you know, Ferrari Challenge, it's 10 times or even 20 times the price of this. So yeah, this is, this is great fun without spending a whole lot of money. Since we started Spec Corvette in 2018, I don't think we've made one major change throughout the entire four years that has caused the performance of the car to change drastically. A lot of these modifications, or a lot of the rule sets that are in, in place, really limit what you can do with the car, but they're extremely fast, which is the coolest thing about them. Keep in mind, we're running very limited aero, we're running street tire, a 200 treadwear street tire, and we're achieving some incredible lap times, and it all comes down to the driver. The car is fast. You know, I haven't <laughs> been to the track in three years, and I'm only a couple of seconds behind the guys. The leaders are really fast. I mean, Mark LaCourt is uh, setting track records everywhere he goes. So a track like Willow Springs, a guy like Mark LaCourt can put down a minute 26 at Willow Springs, which is an absolutely blazing fast time. I checked my times on, on, the, on the Garmin scoreboard, and the only cars that seem to be faster than us are GT3s, which to say that $250,000 cars are a second faster at most tracks than you, makes you know what, I spent 25 grand on a car and uh, doing all right. The last series that I ran was uh, Spec 944, uh, was very similar, but lower horsepower versus the Spec Corvette, a little more horsepower, a little more fun, but same equipment. Everyone has the same car. And that's the idea is that it makes it a driver's class. The car's a super comfortable, easy car to drive. And I think it just takes you, the, the driver, your personality adjusting to that, to go that little extra tenth faster and then another tenth faster. 
I think once you get comfortable, you can begin pushing and then pushing and then pushing and then realizing, man, there's a lot more in the car and it's just on me. So the platform is fantastic as it sits. It's just as fast as any Ferrari I've raced, but it's way more visceral. You know, having a front engine V8, you know, American car, especially like a Corvette, is just such a thrilling thing. It's a driver's car. So another exciting thing for Spec Corvette that has developed here is that we're getting support now from SCCA and NASA. So regionally, Spec Corvette rule set has been adopted into SCCA. So we're working with SCCA now to possibly go to a national class, but regionally, uh, several regions such as West Coast and Florida have already been adopted in the rule sets for Spec Corvette. If you want to get into Spec Corvette racing, contact your region director, and depending on where you're located, we will run with either SCCA or NASA, which is whatever best suits that location, because sometimes, depending on your location or region, uh, SCCA or NASA may be a little more dominant in one place or the other. So we, we are able to pick and choose where we race and, and in turn pick the best tracks to race at.